let's talk about the thumb picking first. I finally got my audio and video stuff working again so I could watch that Instagram clip that you, you wanted me to see. And you know what's interesting? He uses his thumb. He picks with his thumb. Now, it's not for every speed. Uh, in fact, a lot like I do, uh, slower speeds. You can see he's clearly pressing down with that thumb joint, just like I talked about, the exact same way. The exact wild same way. Just imagine a womp womp when I said that. Anyway, um, he definitely has a few things uh, he'll kind of change into. It looks like he'll, he'll, he'll do the thumb thing. For some things, he'll do that bent thumb stuff. Uh, he's definitely very wild. No pun intended this time. But well, yeah, he's like picking like really fast. It kind of looks something like that. So, he, wild as in uh, the motion is fucking wide. He's really wide picking. Seems somewhat out of control. Um, and I think you, you wanted me to see if uh, I thought some, something was sloppy. I mean, I heard the notes that he was trying to do, but it definitely seemed like way more effort in than necessary to go that speed. Like, he's using, like, crazy wide movements uh, that I feel are unnecessary. So, my goal is to get you better than that. Better than that. Um... Anyway, uh, so yeah, the thumb picking. Now, if you hold your guitar like I do, you're going to have the pick angled anyway. You don't have to worry about having to do this. Uh, even if I am like this, there's still somewhat of an angle on the guitar. Like the neck's kind of pointing up a little bit. It's not 100% flat. You're not trying to pick 100% flat against the string either. Even if it was like this, simply having your arm turned a little bit is going to have some kind of angle on the pick. And I think Troy even said, everyone edge picks to some degree. Nobody's truly doing it 100% flat. Uh, anyway, so, starting position. Thumb, think of it, thumbs up. Make a thumbs up. That's your starting point. So I'm doing it without the pick, just so you can see. That's what it looks like. So with the pick, start with the pick flat against the string, well flat enough anyway. Don't have it angled like this. You won't be able to do it because if you extend, then you just move the pick that direction instead of that direction. So you have to start with your thumb extended first and then bend it down. Extend it up, bend it down. In fact, why don't you try something like that? Just something real simple. This pick is being very slippery right now. I'm doing a lot of playing today. Body oils are causing the uh, pick to be slippery. Anyway, yeah, so even if it takes like a few seconds, watch your thumb, look at how it's down, look at how it's up, and eventually you'll be able to do more stuff like that, so it's barely even moving, but then you do things like that, which leads into, because watch, I'm using my thumb on that. Oops. And here's another idea. If you're playing that riff every day and driving yourself crazy with it, take a break. Leave it alone. 
don't even touch it. Leave it be for like a week. Because that sometimes can can help. Sometimes your brain just needs a break from something you've been busting your butt on. It's, it's weird. I don't know exactly how that works. But sometimes you take a break from something you're practicing, come back to it, and it's like, holy crap, it's easier all of a sudden. All right. Um, let's see. 60 beats a minute right now. Exercise number one. So yes, make sure you start at 60. Even though you were able to do 120 during the lesson, please do yourself a favor. Start at 60 anyway. So, this is what we got. Don't force yourself to do downward slanting. Don't force yourself to do any kind of slanting. Just play the notes. I want you to just do what feels comfortable to you and start getting as fast as you can so you get comfortable playing at faster speeds. All right, so here's double time, 120. Now I'll do 140. One sixty. Now one eighty, I won't be able to just do thumb anymore. Let's just stop 200. Remember, just make the notes happen. That's all I want you to do right now. Make them happen. Get them as fast as you can. Accurate as possible as well. Uh, right hand rounds pull off. So you already got some, some pretty good speed there. I want to get you faster. Faster, faster, faster. So let's see how it goes this week with this. So here we are at 60. And you ask if I'm doing any down or up on the picking. It doesn't matter. You can do all downs, all ups. You have so much time in between each note that you need to pick. It doesn't matter. Here you are, 120. Mm -hmm. You got to about 140 or 150, so I'll do 140. I'll say 140 because I think that's the tempo you did it at. And I tapped out along with you with this metronome. All right, 160. Or was it 160? I think you got to 160 already. I don't know. I don't remember. 180. And last 200. That's tough. Okay. I'm pretty sure that covers everything we talked about. Of course, if I forgot something, you got any other questions, you let me know. And uh, good luck with this. And I'll see you soon.